So in the late 1800s and the early 1900s, Swami Vivekananda came to the West in order to teach this perennial religion, this perennial philosophy that all religions are one. And he wrote a letter from the United States back to some of his brother disciples of Sri Ramakrishna at the monastery in Calcutta. And he gives them three pointers that I think are great pointers for life. So I'm going to share them with you here. He says, let me write down something for you all. No partiality to be the chief cause of all evil. That is to say, if you show toward anyone more love than toward somebody else, rest assured, you will be sowing the seeds of future trouble. If anybody comes to you to speak ill of any of his brothers or sisters, refuse to listen to him in toto. It is a great wrong to listen even. In that lies the germ of future troubles. Moreover, bear with everyone's shortcomings. Forgive offenses by the millions. And if you love all unselfishly, all will by degrees come to love one another. As soon as they fully understand that the interests of one depend on those of others, every one of them will give up their jealousy. You see the wisdom in that. And it seems like a huge deal that the whole world should ever come to love one another. That doesn't matter. That's not our goal. Our goal is to love one another, each one of us doing our very best as we go. But you see there how he says, love everyone equally. Try not to have preferences and aversions toward things or people. Try to come into an equanimous state by seeing the presence of God in everything. It's like watching a dream and knowing your presence is in everything in the dream. So here we are doing the same thing in this world, trying to find that, that presence of the beloved, that identity of love, that identity of intelligence and existence in each other. And then to not speak ill of anyone, but you have to love somebody as much as you're going to criticize them. Otherwise, your criticism will not do any good for them. And then the third thing that he says is, is just to, to go on forgiving and being patient with each other. Don't let people annoy you. Whenever you see someone doing something annoying to you, just think to yourself, oh, there go I. <laughs> I have done such a thing. I have said such a thing. You know, so those three pointers, they're simple. They really are the manifestation of all religion. That's really the only message all religion is giving in its essence. That's the change that we want to see in the world. That's the change that we're called to be.